Hello and welcome to room 208, home of 7th grade double language arts, 6th grade double language arts, and 6th grade reading. Let's step inside. Oh my goodness, what an organized and colorful classroom. Okay, this is a long time in the process, so bear with me. So my bulletin board, first this is if you're absent, I have three folders. They each say in probably writing that I'm going to have to fix um, the different periods that I teach. So period one, period three, and period five. So if you're absent, this is where you go and you pick up all your worksheets. Then we've got some colorful, fun proofreading posters, steps to reading success. I really liked this one, the forms of poetry, so that was pretty fun. Um, be more descriptive, words to use that are way cooler than like little or sad, um, secrets to really good sentences, and of course the types of writing. We also have this super cool easel that I took with permission from the library, which is pretty awesome because ooh, I have a smart board. That's super cool, except there's a projector, but I don't know if you can tell that projector shines down into the area that the smart board is not located in. So we're getting that fixed, but for the first week it looks like the smart board's not going to be hanging out. So the easel is a nice extra writing space. Over here we have our awesome star behavior charts for my classes. The plan is they're going to set their own rewards, so for getting maybe like seven stars in a row, because you get a star if the whole class has been good all day. If you're not being good, no star. And rewards come when you get stars in a row. So you better be good, and we're going to pick up out some awesome rewards. Um, up top, we've got the parts of speech. Always, always a fun time. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got our snazzy bathroom passes. Pretty awesome. We've got the magical musical wand, Glinda. Okay, that okay, that sounded cooler. It didn't sound quite as cool though. Let's see. Let's hit it against something. There we go. Yeah, Glinda is gonna be my attention gang signal. Speaking of getting attention, this is my pointer. It's this super cool thing with like a little glove at the end that's <laughs> kind of dumb, but I think it's going to be super fun. Um, over here, I was writing out a poster for QAR, Question Answer Relationships, which is our first day lesson. Uh, this is my desk. It's not super colorful right now, but Kate gave me some baskets. I've got all my Kagan toys for lesson planning, lesson launchers, lesson wrap-up. Um, we've got Dr. DeSoto. Say hi. Hello. Dr. DeSoto is hanging out here because we all know that was the first lesson that I ever taught to anyone. Goodness knows if it was a good lesson or not. Um, we also have the book How to Rule the World. I think that'll be helpful in my lesson planning. My desks are set up in pods, so there's a little supply basket with things that they're going to need for the day. Some days we might use post-its or other things, but we got nicely sharpened pencils ready to go and lots of colorful whiteboard markers. Um, I got little socks because you can put a sock on your hand and erase the dry erase boards. I think we're getting legitimate little erasers, but I kind of think the socks are more fun, but we'll see. Uh, over here, we have a nicely, freshly painted bulletin board that I actually thought looked so pretty I didn't even put a border on it, but I might do that later. Um, it's just all about punctuation. And on this table, this is where homework's going to go. Dun, dun, dun. And then we have our little buckets for each of my classes. I'm doing a little program I'm going to call the Smart Cookie Award, where you get a ticket for just being awesome. And when you get those awesome person tickets, you write your name on it, and you put it in your class's bucket. On Friday, I'm going to bring in, like, cookies or brownies or something, and if your name gets drawn, you get one. So, incentive to shape up. Um, got my little flags that some of you will remember from my dorm room. Some more fun posters. Um, these are all my class's binders. I marked off my 7th grade class. I have 9 kids in my 7th grade class which is awesome. I think that we'll 
get a lot of work done in our little two hour block. Um, then my small but growing class library and then this is the Courtney library. <laughs> That's all the things I'm going to use to teach them. Uh, over here Kate gave me like a million supplies for decorating. She's got like some awesome Dr. Seuss borders and stuff and I'm also keeping like little supplies like paper, whiteboards, pencils, etc. in there. Uh, this is kind of the junk pile. <laughs> I don't really want to focus on that. That's stuff I kind of need to get out of here but um, might be hanging around the first day. Um, this is my reading chart for my reading group because the goal is to get them out of the reading class because it's just like for remedial reading. And it's super cool because not only is it Dr. Seuss, but it's got Nashville. It's one of the places you can go if you read, which is totally true because you can go to Vanderbilt. Uh, last but not least, over here, we've got, oh, this is my little small group table. I stole an extra office chair. Don't tell anyone. Um, I hung up a little curtain. Okay, they're shower curtains. I said it. Um, and this is our little, like, author's corner. I'm thinking when I actually plan out that they're going to write things, and hopefully we'll do some creative writing, you can sit in the rocking chair and read your piece, and we'll sit in a little circle and applaud, of course, because you know they're going to be brilliant writers after working with me. And over here we have kind of our, if any of you watch, um, what's it called? Um like the super nanny. This is kind of like the naughty chair in the naughty corner. I hung my peace flag from Itali from Italy. It says Pace. I'm sure so many of them are going to walk in and be like, why does that flag say Pace? I'll be like, no, it's peace. It's just Italian. But um, this is where you go when you're having a rough day. And it's got a little sheet that I found that actually the guidance counselors used to use. And it's like you fill out kind of what's bothering you and like, what better choices you could be making. So hopefully we won't have a whole lot of people hanging out in that part of the room, but if we do, that's kind of the plan. And then um, one last thing over here that I hung up is a sign that is not very pretty, but I really like it. Uh, it says, no one is teaching if no one is learning. We ha always had little taglines for our TFA sessions this summer, and this is the one that always stuck out to me and kind of shows me that, like, I'm not really teaching if they're not really learning. So it's kind of my motivation to be a better teacher every day. And I know that there's going to be some rough days and some days don't go exactly as I plan them or anywhere near as I plan them. But I'm hoping that if I keep this in mind, then by the time we get to a few weeks in, we're always learning because, and I'm always teaching. So that's it. This is my room, and on Monday, it's going to be full of students. Crazy. All right, I'm going to get out of here because I need to eat some lunch, and I just need to get out of here a little bit, but I'll be back on Monday. All right, see you later. Bye.